gonna sit you down. Number you got numbers or something? Yeah, it got no, it don't. Check, check. I don't know what the, you do. Whatever you doing, and you doing some. <laughs> then if you doing some. We recording? <laughs> this looks like your son. Side by side, you guys. Yeah, same home. haircut. I saw. Ain't nothing wrong to you. I'm 31. You, you're a year older than my son. You could be. Yo, y'all need but to uh, travel not, around like day, this. I got to. He a P funk, so it is what it is. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I come from another generation of it, so. Well, I still push like the old generation, though. You feel yeah, me? you know. So you you, you like it. the old ways? Yeah. Really? That's yeah, quite evident at hell this point. yeah. Yeah, well, today, I'm going to explain to you, this is um, progress. Once upon a time, Paul rules a whole was just all united. Uh -huh. Over years, things that happen, sets get into it, shit happens. Right? So I hear. So my guy that you know, my right hand, on the fingers, mm -hmm. his neighborhood and his neighborhood have been, used to be one, arch enemies. Rooster beef. For I don't know how many years. I don't even like to think about it because I just don't like the taste of it, right? So when Lil John called it in, mm -hmm. Say, yo, you can't, we can get G Uno up there. And okay. the other dude come down with COVID. The fact that this is coming from a fruit town Paul Rue to get a treetop Paul Rue and right down the streets, it's been that type of beef, at least a decade or better, right? At least 10 or better. Somewhere around there, mm -hmm. that meant something to me. That's progress. Huh. You know what I'm saying? Because you got an OG fruit town that's seeing a, a young treetop doing his thing and reaching out and like, yo, can we get him up there? Mm. So that meant something to me. It's progress, you know what I mean? To start killing a lot of showing a lot of progress. And you know, you take a real, say G homies, yeah. that's the type of action that give people that type of yeah, title. Yeah, because sure. at the end of the day, you know, like I know the politics, it's always some kickback. It's always some, no, some politicking yeah, yeah. going on with that. Why you this, the homies this, we got homies this. Yeah, yeah. But he's saying whack. He got a buzz. I think he got a shot at it. He should be the one get to, you know what I mean, to get the light. Mm -hmm. And you know, coming from him, everybody know who Lil John is to me. And you know, you a homie anyway. Period. You know, I don't like to indulge in that. People shit at home, if on. you don't know this man, you huh? do do yourself a favor and go to the original No Jumper G Face interview featuring Bompton G U N O. Bompton G U N O. It was a movie. I'm talking about. Yeah. He got the energy. You you became a star. <laughs> Instantaneously. Yeah. I don't know. I'll be seeing you like any interview you do with any other person and bring my name up. Like, yeah. Just banging that my, shit. My oh, no, before I don't do have that? a set. I got a, I got a bang bomb. Did you uh, know? On. Hold on. You know hold on. Bro. Catchy. Yeah, I hold appreciate on, it. I'm a tuna like we established last time. What? <laughs> what you mean? You what? know, we got you close to it. I couldn't make you that. You the 22 ster that's as far as I'm going. Yeah, but you know that that that, that rhyme with the roosters. Right. Yeah, so you know, you all right. You but know, I also nice got my COVID dog. booster. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> Only well, one man, time. You came out of nowhere. I didn't actually get me? the booster. I just got the regular. You, yeah, you came out of nowhere. And I, I, I hate to say it. I hate to say it. Yeah, I came out the pen. I, I hate to say it. Uh, I don't know if you've been studying. Yeah. I don't know if this is just you. Yeah. But you got... Rest in peace, uh, Slim 400 energy. Man. Huh? You, you have his energy, bro. This, bro, you know, you seen that picture of me? I'm hopping the, the red flag, Chevy. Mm -hmm. It's like they caught me on the hop. That road for me, rode with me from Bompton Airport yeah. all the way to Pacoima. Oh. The bagged on me the whole time, bro. Yeah. Wait, who? Slim, Slim, 400. Oh, Slim he, 400. He was making fun of you? The whole time. That's the homie, though. That's <laughs> why I put him in the car. What was he making fun of? Everything. <laughs> like what? Slim don't get no, no passes, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is his energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? His nah, energy, sure. it was so, and he got mad at me because I didn't want to work with him on the music. I yeah. wanted to manage him as a comedian. Yeah. I was serious. <laughs> yo, that, yo, Slim he 400 as a comedian? That. Yeah. Yo, that would have went. They don't, nobody's never seen that before. But you didn't, he didn't feel like offended, like as a rapper. No. You he, say, like, oh, I think that you're a comedian. No, That's no, kind no. of offensive. He right? was coming around to it because he knew I was plugged in with Nick. You know, I'm like, I'm serious. I'm like, yo, bro, your ass is funny. As a mother, authentically funny. Anytime you look forward to a motherfucker bagging on you when you see him, yeah. that 
funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that was a home. It took like two years. He probably he texted me one day like um, Thanksgiving night. I still got the text and, and he was like, we could talk about it. You know, that was my pot. You know, he had called cuss me out. You know how slim me. He called yeah, cuss yeah, your yeah. ass out and at the end tell you he love you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you got that energy. Like, he had that energy. Like, and you ain't too cool to be a rapper. Adam, you know these 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 gangster m is too cool. They're over in the corner, too quiet. These days, we ain't going to see you. Do you don't think Bob and Gino is like that? He got a catchphrase. That's, how, no, that's he, like, no, that that, that's a big part energy. of how he made such an impression on people. He in that. Energy. You didn't see the other interview. No, I didn't. Oh, I don't watch none of your interviews. I don't. Yeah. You. That's why you suck. You know what um, I'm but that's you should do the science and, and go back and watch that interview because then you can kind of understand. I don't think I was funny though. I wasn't being funny though. There were some funny being, moments. It might have been some funny moments. There were some funny moments. He was probably being serious. Yeah. There were some serious was moments too. We found out that he 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 made an appearance on uh, Swamp Stories documentary about some uh, street business that he was involved in. Oh, you didn't talk too much, did you? Nah, hell no. He didn't talk at all. <laughs> they just looked it up. They're they're reporting on him. <laughs> yeah, they was talking about my story. That How much seemed, time you just do? I did thirteen years. Thirteen straight. Yeah, I was straight. I went to jail when I was seventeen. And so there oh. was a. It was like a very popular hood documentary you all, about you all your dubs. How he got into this position. Huh? There's a very popular hood documentary from Swamp Stories about how he got into this position. Well, if he just did thirteen straight from his adolescence. Miss all his 20s, come home right now. He, either he was really paying attention or he just got it in him. Because you got motherfuckers that been out here 13 years that don't get it. Hey, my homie was just telling me that on the way here. And it's just real shit. Been working on that, working on this, on their craft for years and still ain't like nowhere with it. Yeah, and was out here. Yeah, and been out here. Yeah, so that means something. You know that, Adam. <clears throat> You know, now I'm gonna tell you, people, people not gonna like that. The people that been doing it, mm -hmm. they gonna be like, "What the fuck? Who the? Fuck? Where he kind of? I've been out here doing. He just popped up, and now he this and he that. Yeah. The hate gonna come with it." Now, how how much music have you dropped since that interview went viral? I dropped a mixtape. I did a couple of features. Mm -hmm. Some a lot of freestyles. So I've been working. I've been consistent. It was contentious during the interview that you didn't watch because you don't do any research. Where he was saying that he is the king of Bompton. What's wrong? And all, we started kind of. No, 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 no. It created a dialogue. I am Bompton. Listen, all I homies. I am Bompton. All but, homies. A little bit of an argument. No, no, no. It's if not you an watched argument. it, I'm gonna tell you why it's not an argument. It. All homies are supposed to feel that way. Because if, if if we got all kings and niggas is moving with kings mentality, right? Then we ain't got no weak link. So I don't. I don't take that personal when any homie say, I'm the king of power rule, I'm the king of my city, the king of that. That's letting me know that the homie got the fire in it. What do you think it would be like if I started telling everybody I'm the king of podcasting? Great, you should. I believe you're the king, you in your own lane. Don't you think a lot of people would be like, no, you're not? Nah. Yeah, they probably would. Yeah, you right. gonna have some haters. They like, probably would. They say like Joe Rogan is but, the but, king of podcasting. Yeah, but, but, but. And they'd be right. But I no, am Bompton, though. No. Ain't no, ain't no. But there's a difference between that. being Bompton and being the king of Bompton, right? No, I no, see. But, I never but, said that. The one other dude said that he was. Who was that said that? Oh, the, the, other, the Jerry Curl dude. Yeah, he trolling. Yeah, you don't he, think he's the king? No, he didn't been from. He not even from Bompton. Yeah, he trolling. How, he you, just, gonna, how you gonna be the king of something you ain't even yeah, really need from? Tro he just. I mean, a lot of mayors aren't from. He for shock value. You know what I'm saying? Said what? Like, you could be, like, the mayor of a town and not even live in that Man, town. Man, look, we just going to cut all that out. I am <laughs> Bompton. That's me. He's supposed to feel that way. Are you not No Jumper? That's you, right? Am I the king of No Jumper? Uh, no, that's you. I guess. No, what the f*** do you not mean? not like a formal term, but. No, that's, well, it's your shit. Right. It would like, be pretty you... funny if I told everybody I was the king, not the CEO or the owner. The yeah, king. It, 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 it could nobody question that. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm. The homie like in two, three generations behind me. So are you right? managing him now? No. I mean, I'm a par root. Whatever he need, he going to get. I don't know how to have no paperwork with no homie. If they need something out of me, that ain't how that go. That's oh. real shit right there. Yeah, that ain't how that go. I don't. That's how it's supposed to be. Mm. You don't yeah, get that, 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 ain't, that, get that, that yeah, type of Yeah, that's not how that love go. Or, or genuinity nowadays. Yeah, that ain't how that go. No, he signs rappers into aggressive contracts. No, I don't. That's they they, they, they signed a bullshit of all, contract. You have never heard a rapper say... <laughs> 
they was in a fucked up contract with me. Matter of fact, mm. I'm the only exec that will allow a rapper to go do his thing and not try to stop him and still leave the studio and have the resources open for him. Mm. Savvy Third been signed to me since 2018. Right. He want to venture off into the woods, I let him go. He pop up at the studio, they tell me that. You seen the relationship? You know what he said? Whack, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Because if you deny an artist what their ideology, what they want to do, they'll think it's because of you that shit ain't working. Mm -hmm. So you got to let them, you got to show them what you can do and then let them do what they want to do. And then they'll come on back. They're going to say, you know what? I didn't put out five mixtapes, then eight videos. The homie ain't stopped. Mm -hmm. All I do is press your button and it stops. You know that. When I want to go to the studio, whatever I need, I call him, he there for me. Savvy said, whack, I'm ready to come back. I did everything I could do. I see why I made my mistakes. Cool. That's what it is. Uh -huh. Right? I've never exercised my contractual rights on none of my artists. Great guy. I have a question. How did you end up on that interview that day with G-Face? Uh, with G-Face? Yeah. What, what happened? I mean, blood just asked me, like, if I wanted to come with him. Uh -huh. Like, I got an interview with No Jumper. Oh, you want to come? I'm like, bro, what day? He told me that day. I'm like, man, I got court that day. He like, man, all right, I'm, we going to switch it to the next day. And then the next day we came. And uh, where are you at now with G-Face? What you mean? You didn't see my Can Capone interview? Did you talk about him in it? No, I didn't see it. Man, you lying. I didn't see it. <laughs> He's lying like a motherfucker. G Face, you guys really think I watch every camp He's been reaching out to me for like know. a year. No, I look. <laughs> but I, every, and, we'll, and we'll get him in here with you. But yeah, I, like but I want to know the answer to this. Like, what, what happened between you guys? Did you All have... right, so look. What had happened was that I went and got, I went to the condo courthouse and get my paperwork. I got my paperwork and I called him. I'm like, hey, look, fool. Hey, hit Adam 22. So Adam 22, let me get another interview. I got my paper, let me put my shit out there on this platform. And blood response to me like was, I ain't no lawyer. Like, ooh, ooh, ooh like type shit. So they like, that threw me like for a loop. Like what type of weird ass response is that? Like, my What wife, you mean your paperwork? Somebody has some accusations? Yeah, the, the, the jury curl. The jury curl like, Put some accusations well, out you, on me. You, you, well, you know who the king of paperwork is. I don't yeah. get exposed. I clear it up too. <laughs> Should have brought the work. <laughs> hey, look, hey, look, we can do that though. Hey, what you mean? Yeah, like the do everybody, the nigga, the last two years, who been the mother king of paperwork? Yeah. I clear it up too. I got a whole mess shit gonna be everywhere. I got 1090 right. Jake on speed dial. <laughs> so that's the king of paperwork. No, he ain't. Yes, he is. No, he ain't. We run paperwork every day over there. He's he's like Walmart. You're running like a little mom and pop organization over there with the exposers. First of all, he's a fake blood. He's got a million subscribers. That's cool. He ain't got That's a million dollars. Though. He ain't got a million dollars. Ain't coming from him. It ain't gonna mean nothing. Ah, I bet ten ninety got a mil. Bet he don't. Hmm. Bet me and you both know how much the perception of shit is. We know. We've been Adam. We've been. Keep it real. At a half a meal, and thought we had five meal. Go oh, back, yeah, yeah. go back to them days, right? I know he don't. Even if he don't, I'm gonna give it to him. Probably what you doing with a white boy supposed to. I think he's living. He lives conservative. Oh, he doing all right. He doing great for himself. But oh, okay, but so then yeah. you hit him up and are basically like, I'm trying to get on no jumper again. And G Face told you I'm not a lawyer, as in that's crazy. Basically, like F you, I'm not gonna. I can't help you, Tyson. Right. So after that, then I just wanted to, like, a nigga stop talking to me. But my you question. Also said you said no. Yeah, you. He also said that I said no. I did say no. I was like, it's too early for us to do another interview. So we, you said we no. just did one. So yeah. I should be f***ing you up right now. Why would you want to f*** someone up for not wanting to give you an interview? <laughs> I feel like you getting that interview early on and then immediately asking for another interview, yeah. that's doing too much. No, it ain't. Yeah. No, that's well, not. guess who makes the decisions about who I'm going to interview? He does. You, right? Right. That's why I should be f***ing you up. <laughs> That's, that's the wrong attitude. That's, that's the reason right there. <laughs> that attitude is not going to get you anywhere. An interview that's, is a consensual truth, agreement it's, it's between two on, people. That's not the problem is. That's like, okay, you know no, what it's no, like? No, you're it's, right. It's like you do a song with someone and then you want to do another song yeah. with them. 
you don't get to just like tell them that you're doing another you're song right. with them. So, they have to agree to so it. So where you know, he's right at, no, no. Yes, that where is how he's it works. right at is what he's saying because he knows his platform. What you got to learn is where to go and when to go. Yeah. So the fact that you did a no jumper thing, right, yeah. already, and then that came up, you got to say, okay. But it came up because I came on this platform. So I feel like this platform should have been a. a but he's going to tell but, you. But we didn't even talk about it on this platform. It became a topic of conversation off platform. Hell no! Right. If it was so if you wanted to go YouTube, do some other interview, you could do any interview you want. Yeah. You could make your own YouTube channel, your own Instagram feed, talk all about whatever. He people. needs to reach on like that. But that's when you got to be able to reach and say, all right, if he's too early to go over there, where can I go? Yeah. And then that's when you sp That's when you look and see your homeboys in place. Whack. This was going on. What could we do? Yeah. Right? And we could have ran. I would have ran you over there. I could have sent you the bootleg cab. I would have took bootleg cab's interview and then put it on Clubhouse yeah. and let my media team take it and blast it out to different outlets. Then I'll call somebody like Act, tell him to grab it. Then I could circle around and call or no jumper media and be like, yo, can you repost this? It's going over here. Then it'll work. Why would academics want to talk about that? No, he'll repost it. He ain't got to talk about it. But it's not. You can't it's not at the level of academics Doesn't caring mean, about it. He will why repost not? it. I'm Bonte Giuno. Why wouldn't it not be? Because yeah, he know. doesn't know who you are. I mean, because, and why would he I care am? about yeah. like clearing up a snitching allegation about someone he doesn't even know who they okay, are? Okay, you know where that's a paid post. You know where Loose Cannon and Sharice Mills is at right You're now. Sounding like a hater right now, Adam. No, I'm just keeping you it know real. Because you, you had the same problem last time where you thought that we were hating on you by telling you you weren't the king of Bompton when really we were just giving you advice. No, look, because we remember we looked up the number of views on the video that's cool but look, and we were like it's not it's not king tell you right. never Niggas. let no white man tell you what exactly. you ain't but no, look some, you gotta keep it real but Trip, this how I'm gonna say like niggas was hating on me right that's cool cause you remember the fight that I was supposed to have with me and C-Mac right no, but your, your co-host. Oh, you called the you called him on FaceTime. Oh yeah, 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 oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, I, yeah. I do a lot of content. <laughs> Nah, you, so, see, you, you seem like you think that I should remember every last detail of that interview. Nah, just with me. It wasn't really that big a deal to me. So look, I guess Brick Baby and 600 was like, oh, I don't have enough cloud or whatever, whatnot. Whatever. At the time, I had, my views was in, th in the thousands. They see me on the Explore page on Instagram and all that. Was, so they see the wave. But then... Crib man, he turned around and go to the niggas and, and, and box with a homie. I know and that, it, yeah. And yeah. they only have 500 followers, bro. Like, yeah. Come on, bro. You can't tell me that ain't no hating shit. Like, bro, yeah, come that, on, fool. Right. Like, nah, but what it was, on, bro. was he probably didn't think he had no win with you. For sure he didn't. Everybody in his mama that knew was. he didn't. But he's saying he that Dazi Kane that. is, it's not like Dazi's platform was that much bigger than yours. You guys probably have like a similar number of followers, crazy right? As I just told you. I, what? My was in the thousands. He had five. And he only had 500. He was nobody until the situation occurred with him. And Are we literally talking about 1,000 views versus 500 views? No, no, views? no, no. no, no. Like We're talking about like 3,500 right? at least. Oh. That's seven times. See, he's he been funny. But no, Crib <laughs> Mac fought Dazi Kane in the bounty, or near the Bounty Hunter uh, project. In the just, in but over a personal dispute about something that he said about so it. So he said it had nothing to do with nothing. So what? It I, was like just. So it, what was their situation? About? It I wasn't. They didn't fight for money. They oh, fought they because. I squabble your for them ten bands. He was supposed to squabble uh, Bosco for. I don't think anyone followed up about the fight with you and Crip Mac. Because remember, me and G Face both said that we would bet ten grand on our guy. Nah, I said I would bet ten grand on Crip Mac, like and G Face 30. said you would bet ten grand on him. So what happened? We didn't really work out like didn't want no didn't up. we didn't work out what percentage of this money would go to the fighters versus us. Well, what we can say is I don't think it was Crip Mac. I thought I think Crip Mac would have got out there and fought for that ten thousand. Hell for yeah. sure, <clears throat> for sure. Crip Mac was so fighting so Mike Tyson gonna, right here. Because see, right now be a lot of narratives <laughs> being painted. So we ain't gonna say Crip Mac was scared. We gonna say you. We didn't follow. I, I didn't was, do anything to follow up on was. it. On the fingers, in the building. What it was, they was hating on Don't me. Don't boy hoodie. What? Do you know? What? Do you know? Who was hating on you? Still thugging. See the back of the hoodie? I know he's, 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 he's pretty hyped on it. Still thugging. Still thugging. So wait, okay. I got to get him right. I got to get him right. So what happened? was hating on me. It, it was evident, bro. Because it's not. You just, thought you deserved your chance. It's not coming from me. Like it's coming from everybody else. That's 
You feel me? That's just regular human beings. That's just living their life. Like you feel me? They like man, them niggas was hating on you, bro. Mm. It's, it's it's evident. Like, you feel but me? you know that come with it, right? Oh yeah, most definitely. And you can't get you mad have, about it. You got to learn how to navigate through it. No, would, I wasn't would you mad have about fought Crip Mac in the park for free, like like Dazzy Kane did? Because that wasn't the, the idea. You wanted to do like a real boxing match, to right? Fight him. Man, look, if a nigga come with that bag, I don't give. A f- we can be in the alley. But Dazzy Kane did it for free. Oh, well, that's Dazzy Kane. I'm Bonten Jr. You feel me? Nigga, but I'm just like trying more, to figure out what you wanted. Did you want like a real boxing match, an influencer boxing match type thing? Which obviously Crip Mag is probably not coming home anytime soon, so it's not happening. But Dazzy just they just fought in the park. Yeah. But see, the whole thing about with C Mac, he was supposed to fight Bosco for 10 bands. Mm. And Bosco, to my understanding, didn't want to want to do the fight. So I'm like, all right, well, since Blood don't want to do the fight, nigga, I'll take that fade for them 10 bands. Mm. So it was all about the money. Like for me, nigga, from the dribble. So it would have had to come with a check. <laughs> Where, well, I guess we'll never get to figure it out, or at least yeah. it'll be a while. I don't know, man. Yeah, Crip yeah, Mike, they they Crip missed Mike. the opportunity. Didn't you say you wanted to fight Blueface? Who, Blueface? Crip Mike might f around and know. Blueface. But you don't really know Crip Mike either, right? Yeah, he messy as <laughs> <laughs> Why not fight Blueface? <laughs> uh, That's a big fight. Believe, a, he's this, more famous than Crip Mike, according no, to this, this guy. This is real <laughs> shit. I believe. Blue, blue face will fight don't, anybody. Don't be laughing don't like look, a Disney villain over blue here. Blue face will fight anybody. <laughs> no demon energy. Look, blue face will fight anybody. The homie will fight anybody. Uh-huh. But it was something going on with Sounds that. Sounds like a match made in heaven. Let's get it on. He called Crip Mac a <laughs> right, for whatever reason. Right. So Crip Mac must have responded. Right? I don't know. Honestly. Did you FaceTime Crip Mac, Crip Mac or something? Did. Oh, during that, yes. And knowing Crip Mac, he going to respond. Crip Mac probably called him a custard. Custer, not custard. F- Thinking no. about snacks. No, I don't know. I'm not a crip, so I don't, you know, whatever. F- you know how to speak the language. No, I don't. No, that, I don't exercise that language. Mm. <laughs> and once he heard that and he heard that, that's what it was. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I still remember the first time I called you a custer. You ain't never called me that. I did on here. No, you didn't. Or I might have at least used the word. And then yeah, that's might, when you accused you me of being a you crip might use the transplant. Yeah. No, nah, you are. I mean, but shit, they could have you. I ain't tripping. I have. Very we few, a little different. Very few crypt connects. Huh? You, you I'm, I'm, not, the, I'm not tapping. You with the hustlers or the gangsters? Uh, neither, my oh, friend. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just so? out here tuning so? it up. They call me Big Tuna, Jim Helpert. Big Tuna. You like that? Yeah, okay. That's my rapper name. Oh, Big Tuna is such hey, a yeah. hard rap name. So listen, man. <laughs> who have you worked with? Who you been in the lab with? What you been doing? That's what he needs you for. He's trying to get in the game. Well, you know, that ain't nothing but a We got to get the Mom to GUNO ball rolling a little bit more. We got to get the Blueface feature. We need the True Car feature. We need the... That ain't nothing. The Cardi B feature. And all that. And all that. Why you got a Jamba Juice cup, my guy? I'm drinking Jamba Juice. We need all that. Where do you get a Jamba Juice From Jamba Juice. What do you get? What do you order? Um, I either get Orange Dream Machine. What? Or the Greens or PB and Banana. PB and... what, What kind of mood necessitates each flavor? Depending on what I want. You know, I'm with you, we don't know what kind of mood was supposed to take your flavors. Because you got, you deal with many flavors. Never been a Jamba Juice guy. Uh, I mean, yes, you have. You got a cold mix. What? Yeah. You trying to put together some sort of metaphor here? I ain't putting together nothing. I'm just keeping it real. Uh, I don't know what you're going for here, but I've just never really been a Jamba Juice guy. I remember someone gave me a gift card one time, and I went, like, t- twice to, like, use up the gift card. Well, mother. I never been to uh, what's this group you want to go see? Uh, oh my god! What, what's the name of these? The Mountain Goats. The Mountain Goats. This motherfucker about I'm going to a Mountain Goat concert. Oh, what is that? Man, I pulled that goddamn song up. This shit. It's like a folky like <laughs> no, rock that's band. Some hillbilly shit. I wouldn't say hillbilly. Not really like and, hillbilly. And, and the fact They're that gonna I think heard it's that, like country. I felt like he's now a culture vulture. I've mm-hmm. always liked a wide variety of music. Because you come from that type of music. Yeah. Beyonce is putting out a Honky Tonk album. Huh? Hey, nah, but that's Be, what the country... You f- with the, you f- with the Beyonce country wave? No, we're talking about it. you being a cultural virtual. Culture, 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 culture virtual? <laughs> what, yeah. what, no, no, no. We're talking about the mountain goats. I can like multiple kinds of music. All the top rappers listen to shit outside of rap. Yo. 
I listen to their music, bro. They got some bangers. Go it's, listen to this year. This year is a banger. Yo, this some bullshit you got going on, bro. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. You played about. it on Clubhouse? I definitely played this hey, shit. Uh, hey, Adam. You know, it's real shit, though. I appreciate the promotion. Thank you. You're giving me, man. I'm a fan. You a fan? I like what you're uh, putting together. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, if he's mentioning you a lot. I'm picking up what you're putting down, as they say. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, man. So you got some realness in your bones somewhere then. The, this is all realness, really. Yeah. It's my blood type. I, I feel that. It's just, your blood type is real? It's just real AF. That's what the doctor told me. So listen, man. What doctor. project you got out now? I just released my uh, mixtape, my latest mixtape. It's called Still Thugging. Let me check it out. Bompton G. I got eight songs on there. I got uh, three features. Who you got on there? Um, I got Stupid Young on there. That's the homie. Ooh, how you know him? Stupid Young. Yeah. Shit, I met him. Um, I met him. The first time I met him, I was with YG. Um, when Mozzie had got out of jail. Um, Is it G E E? Yeah, G E E U N O. They're giving me all YG songs. Man, stop capping, bro. Apple hating. I ain't never seen no shit like that. Wait, what am I supposed to type? I put you know G Uno. Listen, is it just G Uno? Listen, you got to understand that nigga YG has been the face it's just G Uno. to that Don't for a long bump. time. Nah, real shit. Going You're back lost. to the, the uh, skinny jean movement. Mm -hmm. We talking like 09. Yeah, that's when I was. You know, we jail. talking about Def Jam YG. Yeah. You know, before he transitioned yeah. into his YG 400 shit. Are you about to start telling him to wear tight pants? <laughs> no. Don't Just do saying. the Snoopy badass thing. But too many. <laughs> listen, you got to remember, you had. This is how he fell out with. Bliss. He uh -huh. fell out with Snoopy badass because he was telling him to wear tight pants. No, he said, "Here, I got you these pants." No, I and never met tight, Snoopy a vinyl, day. Like, I never like, met nah, Snoopy son. a day in my life. Oh, I thought you gave him some pants. He called my phone. Whack, whack, whack. Hold on, I'm a Paul Rue. Don't hang up. This is how I'm. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh -huh. I'm like, yeah. Who is this? And he like this Snoopy badass. I didn't know what the f he was. He like, bro, I just got a few questions. So I pulled up his shit and I looked at him. I said, bro, the kids of this generation, they not going to gravitate to that. You know what I'm saying? I said, look, game is a par rule, right? Yeah. Go look at how he dress. Baggy pants are back. Bell bottoms is f***ing back. You go <laughs> watch a skate. What are you talking about? Go watch like a Supreme but, skate but video. All is, the cool fashion kids, bang. they all got baggy ass pants. It's now. back now. Yes. What we talking Sweet about is yeah, yeah. six, seven years, six years ago, some shit like that, right? right. So, you know, with the tight pants? No, nah, I wear no, no, fitted no, no, pants, no. bro. Like, I don't wear skinny jeans or tight jeans. No, no, no. But you don't do like baggy jeans? I don't do baggy Not jeans. Not the super baggy. Nah, we ain't. What are you wearing? I just got on sweats. Yeah. So, I just gave him some tips. I was. I said, look, bro, like, the Jerry Crow shit, I know I see what you're trying to do, but it's the kids that's streaming the music. Mm. They don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? I said, so find your media. I ain't telling you go all the way square, but the Jerry Crow, look, put something with it. Put something with it where the kids is going like, oh, okay, that's such and such, and he has a Jerry Crow, right? Mm -hmm. But he was like, Dumbass, he man. was, nigga, like Dumbass. the homie, b brace. All because, over again. Okay, here's the problem. If you got a Jerry Col a curl and a dicky suit, you're you're easy E. Like to the people but we talk you're about dressed up, you're wearing an easy E Halloween we costume. We're talking about twenty fifteen. I know, but that's what I'm saying, is that that style is so associated with a certain time period that unless you freak it and add something different to the mix. That's what I said. It's not necessary. it's gonna come out as a costume, some, right? Instead of wearing chucks, put the Dior chucks on. I think he knows that. He'd be wearing all kinds of different fits. Nah, he wasn't back then. Maybe not then. No, he's a little different now. But I need to hear no that he ain't nobody. You gave a nigga all the weird cloud he got that don't Mean that. I'm gonna have him on again soon. You want to be there? Cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, he ain't gonna I do. Be there. No, you're gonna do some violent stuff. You're gonna shank him. You don't even know me. Yeah, but I feel like you got a shank. You got a shank for Snoopy. No, I don't. I'm not trying to put that energy in the air. But can you promise me that you would not assault him? He ain't gonna promise you shit. We don't promise people. Nothing. Well, if you want to come in here, you have to promise not to assault him. Nah, look, did I assault anybody right now? When I just came in here right now. No, but so I mean, that doesn't mean that do you that won't then? in the future, right? Huh? That doesn't mean that you won't insult someone else if there was somebody who do the nigga even know assault, you? rather. Man, nah. He don't know you? Nah. He was just speaking on you because yeah. your shit was buzzing. Yeah, niggas, niggas hating. Oh. Weird ass, weirdo. Did he, did, he, did he say he knew him, Adam? 
I don't think so. I think he was probably just jealous because he wants to be the top blood over here, you know? Who want to be? Snoopy. You can't top me. Snoopy, you listen. You can't top me. I'm going to say this to all homies. He would argue. That. You can't I'm going to say me. this to all homies. Any homie <laughs> Whack 100 is that used to be there. a motherfucking <laughs> crip, <laughs> prior to being a blood or a pie rule, you will never supersede, outrank, or have a stronger voice than a homie that just been that day one. I don't give a fuck who you are. You blew it. You fucked it's up. It's real shit. So that's not even possible. I don't know. That's you, up, that, he tell that's up to you. It's real shit. Yeah, he, he it's tell not, you. It's real not shit. Not my business. I don't know. It's just real shit. So, so you going to invite me or what? I'll ask him. You going to ask him. Well, you both have to agree to. Uh, I disagree. Yeah, but then he would have to agree as well. Uh, man. Why wouldn't what he agree? What do you think he's going to say? No, I'm afraid that you're going to put him in a headlock or something. Uh, uh, why, head what? why you got this, 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 this? Why you think that about me? <clears throat> you seem like if you saw someone that you had a disagreement with, uh -huh. that you might assault them. No offense. I don't want to be presumptuous or anything. But I feel like bringing you into this office with someone that you have animosity towards and who you have both made content about each other back and forth, I would have to be careful with that. Why? I just want to know why. That's like, good content. Yeah, but if they start like beating each other up, that's not content so much to us. It's more like a problem. Who going to stop it? <laughs> well, we do have security, but That's you know, Paul we'd probably rather like avoid he the situation. He can't stop it. Don't, don't do that. He can't stop it. He doesn't want you labeling him. I, mean, I don't give a fuck. It's what it is. He can't stop it. <laughs> it's just two homies. Like, you know, unless somebody on the verge of dying or something. Did you know that a fight almost took place on Tuesday night? No, nah, what do? Okay, we had Lush back on the podcast. Oh, the little. Do you even remember Lush? That's the dude that told AD he was fired before he knew it. Yes. And so Lush is a white dude from L.A. Part brought of, him back? Part of a Spanish gang, apparently. Um, and he was in here, and basically he, I, I, I FaceTimed Almighty Suspect. They start screaming at each other. Lush calls him a snitch. Almighty Suspect is like, what? Because we never heard that. Like, Brick Baby's right in here, and DW Flames right here. They both never heard that. So we're all, all of a sudden, they're tripping. They're like, you can't just say that to him. How are you going to say that to him? Like, you can't put that type of shit on somebody's name unless you're ready to prove it. Lust starts kind of backpedaling right away and, like, acknowledging that he was out of turn saying that. But then Almighty says, boom, I'm coming there. He drives, he, he's driving here or whatever. He texts me. He says, I'm outside. We all, Lush says he wants to fade. Lush gets up. We all go outside, like 20 fucking people. We're all posted up in the alley with the security. Almighty text me. I'll be there in 20 minutes. <laughs> so he was capping? I guess when he said, I'm outside, or like, no, he wrote, come outside. I took that as, I'm here right now. Come I outside. I too. He so apparently meant, he, got he meant, come outside when I get there. So that we could fight outside instead of in the building, right? Either way, then his dad gets on the phone. because Who's dad? Suspect's dad, Rifleman. He's like a battle rap legend. Hip, old school hip hop legend in general. So how was dad getting it? I don't know. Somehow suspect links with his dad, and then they end up getting on the phone, and then they, they end up agreeing to a fight the next day. Jury's out on if this fight actually transpired. Coming soon on No Jumper. Any more blacks? <laughs> Make it a black. How old is Lush? 42. Oh, that might be how his dad got into it. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to figure out how suspect's dad got into well, it. Well, I think his dad's like... 50s. His dad's like an older guy. How old is Suspect? Suspect probably 30 or like a little younger. Is probably. he? I mean, maybe 28. Hey, I'm, I'm not sure. Wow. Yeah, I know him for a long time too. But it was crazy because to be fair, Lush got up out that chair and went outside. He was jumping up and down. He was getting ready. He was really about to do it. And he really felt like he was going to lose the fight too. He felt like Suspect was going to fuck him up. But he was ready. He was down. He was going to take the ass whooping. He was going to do it. I was fucking proud of him, honestly. I told so you brought him back. He's back on a. He's not back like permanently, but we did. We did that one episode. Ended up being five hours. I felt like I was in a clubhouse room. What's wrong with the clubhouse room? <laughs> you always taking shots at clubhouse. Uh, no, I respect the clubbers. You know, we 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 the clubhousers. We, my side of the app defended you, Adam. I fuck with them. I just 
I associate Clubhouse with having long-winded conversations. When well, I do a conversation, I like to be a little bit bow, to the point. Let's get right to the meat and potatoes. Which, to be fair, that five yeah. hours kind of flew by. Well, because we today had, we, on we Clubhouse so much in the trenches, um, you know, we had a dude named Don Moore. And who is that? This little dude. He got. He ran out of shoes. He went and pulled up on somebody. And... Uh, he ran out of shoes, left his shoes at the scene. So you had a clubhouse panel to basically decide if he was a bitch or not? I mean, you know, it is what it is. What was the verdict? Uh, we was calling him the running man. Betty wasn't going for it. Shout out, Betty. She was hollering and screaming. But, you know, he pulled up on a dude from Chicago. I ain't going to say no names. And the nigga left his shoes there. Uh huh. You ain't supposed to leave your shoes at the scene, bro. Need your shoes. Need your shoes. You ran out to motherfuckers. <laughs> you lose your shoes. You know what I'm saying? It's time to get new shoes. <laughs> there you go. You got to go to a store and spend like 80 bucks. There you go. So my boy Beast went and brought him a pair of new shoes. He stopped at the local um, Payless. Mm. Got him some pro wings. Because we figured since he liked to run, maybe we can make him fly. <laughs> and he got mad. He didn't accept the shoes. Really? <laughs> he didn't accept the fucking shoes, bro. He didn't want the shoes. He didn't want the shoes. That's crazy. My boy Big Fo. Shout out Big Fo. Big Fo now. Shoes or shoes? Yeah. Just accept them. Pull up on a Chicago guy. You know how it goes. <laughs> yeah? Guy named Big Fo now. You know he's from Chicago. That's a cool name. I like you like that name? Big uh, Fo now. Big Fo now. I just had Big 50 on. And this is Big Phone now. She's a little bit bigger than Big Phone. No. Yeah, Don Mars like ran his ass to Mars. Shout out Don Mars, man. Leave Big Phone them alone. Shout out to the trenches. So, okay, it's important that we have this conversation. What's up? Over the weekend, mm -hmm. you were surprised to see your nephew, Ooh. A. Dizzle, a.k.a. A.D. What about A.D.? What I got what? Got into an altercation Ooh. out in San Diego. He ain't getting wood. That's cat. That's cat. That's what I Y'all can't do that. That's embarrassing. <laughs> see, he's, he's unfiltered. That's cat. <laughs> he's unfiltered like that black and Because you didn't see this type of footage before. Let me fill you in. <clears throat> 80 for one in violation. Yeah. Why? He out of town and gets loaded. Mm. Right? Yeah. He go in the spot. That's the end of it. He goes in the spot. Somebody does something to OT like, the security was kind of yeah. fucking with OT. He ends AD up taking flighty. off on the security. AD flight to security. So they, he didn't clear that the way. Right? Now, I don't know if the security had family in there yeah. or what. But out of nowhere, right, <laughs> here comes Superman. <laughs> AD ain't paying no attention. He set it by the grill. He loaded. Right? Dude, now if you notice, if you pay attention, this is why we can't say he got whooped. All whooping, all whooping is knuckles. The footage I seen, he was in a bad position. Did you see any swinging? Nah. By him, no. But by he was, nobody. He was in the oh, no, no, no. By punches. nobody. Dude Not was nice. just holding on AD. AD ass, tripping, loaded. He then fell all over the gate, right? Now, you know AD. AD, right, he know how to stay on his feet, right? He wouldn't even try to get up. Right, AD loaded. He said, sitting think, down and put his shirt on. I didn't on. think what the fuck no. He sat well. down. So OT told me <laughs> why. in a bad position. After it was over with, AD sat there ten minutes laughing. <laughs> in that exact position, loaded. They said he looked like the bad boy, the notorious Big <laughs> album cover. Loaded. You know what I'm talking about? No, listen. The Biggie Smalls album cover. Yeah. Now OT. With the baby sitting. Yeah. <laughs> OT. That's got funny. the boy yeah. <laughs> choking Put him, him out. The you know, OT yeah, yeah. been MMA fighting for like seven, eight years. Yeah. You know, OT fight all kind of He looked comfortable. Right? He looked unfazed. Yeah. He got the big ass icy right? chain. So, you know, when people say, but when people got names and shit, nigga, you could slip and fall, nigga. And something, you got your ass whooped. Yeah. Right. Now, I'm coming just, up, coming up saying get whooped. I'm just saying from the footage that I saw, he was in oh, the back. There's oh, clearly exactly. stuff that happened in that video before the video yeah, starts, AD, you know? AD took off for the security. Yeah. He flied the security and thought it was over with, and a nigga did a Superman jump out of nowhere. His big old ass fell over the motherfucking stand, <laughs> and because he was loaded, he couldn't get his ass up. <laughs> I don't even think he was trying to resist. Yeah. Like, you didn't see AD, like, come on, you know AD. But do you think that AD has officially gotten to the point where his fatness is not a joke anymore? It's like, 
it's becoming a liability. Well, listen. because I feel like that fight, if he was 80 pounds less and like densely muscular, if he was 80 pounds less if and he loaded. Had, if he was like boxing and doing Muay Thai and training and shit, I don't was, feel like it would have gone down he, like that. First right? of all, and maybe it if he wasn't like, drunk, it ain't like somebody took off on him. Somebody jumped on him right. and his big ass stumbled into that <laughs> gate, loaded and fell over the gate. I cussed him out. Like, what is you doing? In another city like that, he loaded. Yeah. For oh, one. Shit. Right? But you know, he was a good uh he was a good sport about it. I see he been trolling himself. Yeah, he made the you shirt. Know, the shirt and uh who should A D go back and slide with? He trolling. He's not running you, from you it. gotta do that. Because otherwise like if you don't show that you can laugh at yourself, then everybody's really gonna well, gang up the on O T calls me the next morning. Mm. Right? He said, yo, whack, unk, this motherfucker asked me what happened. He, he didn't so even you know. you know what kind of motherfucker <laughs> night he was. Man, what the fuck happened? I'm looking on social media, and I'm seeing all this shit. Mm. He remembered it was a fight and a scuffle, but O.T. said, unk, the nigga literally sat on the curb and laughed for like 10 minutes. But you, you want to know how I know that they really didn't want it to come out? Is because the way that I first saw it, remember when I texted you Sunday? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm doing shit with the family, whatever. We get home, put the kid down for a nap, sit on the couch, open up Reddit, look at the No Jumper Reddit, whatever, shit going on. Look at the back on Fig Reddit. Top video, AD gets beat up in San Diego. I click on it. I watch it three times before I'm like, wait a minute, that really is him? Because it's like 15 seconds. Well, they put it up. But there's so many like lookalike videos on like where normally if there's a video and it says Adam 22 getting his ass beat, it's going to be some white guy with tattoos getting his ass beat. Gotcha. So I'm watching, I watch it three times before I notice OT's chain. And then I'm like, that's OT. No way. Because I've known AD for so no, long that I, it's like weird to see him get beat up. I just or, was or talking to him. Roughhoused. Because me and Luz Cannon was out bowling. Whoa. Right? We was bowling. Right before I went in bowling, I'm talking. You finally to decided to leave the house and just bowling with loose cannon. Which I always leave the house. Fuck you, me. I feel like you never do anything. I feel like you're like Who, me? Mr. Mysterious. I don't go to fucking uh, Wild the Mountain Bill's Bill's concerts. Co- Mountain Wild Bill's Bill. concerts. <laughs> Who's Wild but Bill? But shit, I'm, I'm everywhere. I'm always everywhere. Come with us. Let's go see the Mountain To goats. the Mountain Goats? Yeah. You want me to go to a concert called the Mountain Goats? I think you'd have a good time. You try to line me up. Probably get faded. You know you fuck with the Klansmen. No, no racist content. Yes, you do. Very, it's very progressive liberal stuff. People would probably be so oh. nice to you as the only black dude there. They'd probably be like, hello, sir. Thank you for coming. So I would be the only black guy there? I mean, I bet there's a few, but not not a lot for sure. Nevertheless, um, so you think AD got whooped though? No. Not like, I didn't see one punch thrown. Yeah, it's not like he got injured. But... Media wise, social media wise, it was a definitely bad, it was a yeah, bad look. In, yeah, he was in a bad, bad position, look, bro. Mm-hmm. Bad look. Because social media going to make what they want to make out of it. Good thing that AD is a likable guy. Mm. If that if AD would have been me, oh, man, they'd have turned that shit to some other shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't want people to like me. If people start liking me, I'm, a, I'm, I'm not go, doing social media no more. Right. My whole goal is to make you hate me. I feel like... AD just got a taste, a little taste. Like, it's not like a full big L, but you got like a taste of what an L, like a real public L would be like. You said it just didn't go his way. It, I, but I also feel like it was probably edited to make him look worse than it actually was. Because that clip they is like. his shirt off. I know, but it's like just that part. Like, I feel like the beginning part probably would look better. Oh, the beginning part, he, he you know. Few people down there. Said, it Whack, felt like was it was there. selectively edited. It, look, it looked as if like him and the dude was just fighting. Like he didn't take yeah, off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. You didn't see shit. none of that. I mean, you know what's crazy? You know they got that shit. Huh. The club got cameras, bro. Yeah, but that was filmed by some random dude. Yeah, the club has the cameras. AD should really go get the footage. Right. The club told yeah. us that they were thinking about suing him. Suing who? AD. Why? But then he says that he talked to them. Why did they because about he put up a live stream on community saying that he started the fight, hmm. that he decided to swing on him. So it's the truth to it. <laughs> well, I'm saying it wouldn't be the hardest lawsuit you could imagine. I mean, what the fuck was the loss? They didn't shut the club down, unless whoever got 
fired on his Sony. If I was a security guard, I would be so pissed off about the possibility of just getting beat up on a random day at work. Shit, I just seen a security guard die at work. From what? Shit, they rushed him. See, that's terrible. Yeah, they rushed him. A man him. should be able to go to work and not have to worry about these kind of things. A hey, security guard, security guards are like um, tanker drivers. Yeah. <laughs> They're underpaid, like teachers. Right. They're underpaid. I mean, what they pay them guys? Twenty dollars an hour. It's weird being a security guard because most of the time you ain't doing shit, and then all of a sudden some crazy shit happens. It happens, and you got to just snap into gear. Especially like a bar. Like I'm sure the average night shit ain't all that. You gotta have patience too. Those liquor is a motherfucker. Okay, so let me ask you this because you are an expert in these sort of things. What has this new lawsuit with Diddy? What has this brought to the fold that we didn't know about beforehand? Because I noticed you're starting a fund or some sort of like hotline for his victims to contact you. Um, Puffy did it. <laughs> you know, go to Wack 100's Instagram, it's a post a picture of Puffy, mm -hmm. and we want to know what Puffy did. Fuck it, make it up. They making up shit. Now, do I think Puffy's into some freaky dicky shit? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's his thing, right? The question is how freaky. But this dude saying. Puffy passed me on to Cuba Gooden Jr. This dude saying, Puffy groped, uh, he groped me, grabbed my ass, grabbed my nuts. I'm hearing all this shit, right? And I'm not saying that this shit didn't happen. But here's the problem. He's saying he's only exposing these things because he didn't get paid for his work. Mm. So if you had got paid for your work, you'd have went back. So you're suing... Because you was offended or you're suing because you just want your money for work. Now, Puff, you got to start paying the people you owe. And I think what happened was Puff verbally told him an amount, right? And when the album dropped and didn't do so well, only did 23000 first week. Right. So, right? I think at that point in time, Puffy kind of took that out on him and probably various people. And just throwing some crumbs. Hmm. Now, what he went wrong is he should have had this shit contracted before he went to work. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? But when you're a producer and you're dealing with a mega star, it can be hard to get the paperwork done. It can done be hard to get that done. You kind of like rolling the dice on the motherfucker, like not fucking with you. Every so, producer so basically like takes their lumps business wise in order to just get into the position to even be involved with these records in the first you place. Understand it? Understand? Yeah. And you know what? To him, he thought this was gonna be his his thing. It was some big names: this Puffy album, the Love album. All these names on there, these headliner names, these a list or B-list artists. He say he produced nine songs, and boom, shit come out and do 23000 So I guess my question for both of you, do you really believe that Puff Daddy and Meek Mill were getting gay? No. Meek Mill and Usher name was redacted from that. But then it describes him as a Philadelphia rapper who... Was dating Nicki Minaj. That's Not that Meek many Mill. people Look, fit that criteria. Listen, this is the producer saying these things. Right. Now, let's just say Meek's into this shit. I don't even fuck with Meek, but I ain't going to put that on him. But For a couple days now, Meek has been declaring his on. heterosexuality on, on Twitter in hold ways on. I've Let never seen anybody something. fight back like Let this. Let me ask you something. Yes. Let's just say Meek is into the funny bunny business, right? Do you think he's going to do it in front of motherfucking Little Rod, the no-name producer? Probably not. Okay. That's my point. He do would be a think, more discreet gay. Wait, wait. Do you think Usher would do something in front of Little Rod, the no-name producer? But, I mean, when you're horny. No, 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 no. He's talking. He's talking, and I don't believe, and they was redacted from that anyway. Right. Usher they, seems like a passionate guy. They were mentioned. When it's going down, redacted. it's going down. That's no different than them <laughs> niggas saying, we suspects in a, in, a, in a case, they come pick us up, and we say, we show we were somewhere else. We weren't even in California. All right. Yeah, we was mentioned. We were suspects. Now, they didn't ask us out. Hmm. You can't put us in the case. Meek and Usher was redacted, so why are motherfuckers talking about it? It ain't like it's Cassie saying it. This is a month. This motherfucker says Stevie J was in there. It feels hold like on. if the is, gay person is, came is that out. possible? Said, no, hold on. The dude that was in the video said it wasn't Stevie J. It was me. 
they, they resemble. So mm -hmm. when he's looking at whatever video, he thinks it's TV. It's a whole nother motherfucker. Now, what I will say is Meek did some old bust-ass shit. <laughs> the nigga go at academics. Yes. Then he, hold on. Asking for his address. Hold on, wait. Hold on. And this declaring is, that he's going to pull up. This some bust-ass shit right here. And everybody want to select the politic, but I'm going to say it. Meek said, the governor <laughs> yeah. called me and checked me. The governor. I took it down after I explained to him, the governor, this is the guy, academics, that powered the biggest rap beef that killed some of my friends, and now he's playing undercover. Seems Meek like a is stretch. telling the governor <laughs> that academics was behind the war some people Iraq. <laughs> getting killed. What the fuck, me? Listen, bro, stop doing the gangster Philly tough shit and just be a civilian. It's cool to better your life. Mm. Philly ain't standing behind that shit. This nigga said the governor called him and checked him. And he told the governor, this is the guy, governor, who powered the war and got people killed. <laughs> What the fuck are we talking about? By just talking about it on YouTube, too. Like, he, they're acting like he, he sent guns to the hood. Like, he said, if, if academics was sending crates of Glocks to O Block, then I feel like this argument would make He's sense. He's not supposed to have them conversations with them people. He everybody, was just making YouTube videos talking about murders that, that already happened. Everybody got the governor plug. The governor controls the city. Within the city is the Philly PD. Now, if your math ain't mathing, that's on you. But do you think the governor just talked to Meek and was like, hey, can you not uh, threaten to pull up and kill academics because it puts Why me in kind of a weird place? Why do they have that kind of relationship know? where they're where they having street conversations? Well, he's like a big community activist, Who? police reform type dude, right? Who is? Meek, he's trying to play the, the good guy role, right? Then you need to be the conscious rapper. <laughs> I don't know if he's ready for that. He got to be. He willing and dealing with the governor. I just yeah. don't like seeing a rapper take aim and act like he's going to do some tough guy shit. And not just like, I'm going to beat you up it's when I see you. the second time he did it. But like, I need your address. I'm going to come to your house and do something to you. Like, Meek, be serious. This is the second time he did it. Look where you're he at said, in life. You he don't, told, don't do this to yourself. He told 6ix9ine you he was going to whoop his ass. You was a bitch. 6ix9ine right. seen him <laughs> and jumped out on him. Right. He start hollering, I'm not going to jail. Then why you say when you see him, you going to whoop his ass? You mm -hmm. tell a nigga when I see him, I'll whoop your ass. You let 6ix9ine see you in a parking lot and jump out on you. You supposed to get ass. But now yeah. Ak is talking way tougher than yeah, me. Yeah, we ain't with none of that. Now Ak is, the, Ak is looking like we the gangster on Twitter right now. Who? Ak, because like the way he's talking. Ak talk no gangster to me. Ak is talking crazy to Meek now. Civilian, but they both civilians. Ak <laughs> is a more OG civilian than Meek. Meek just that. entered in his civilian. Like he just became a civilian. He just became. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the real niggas in Philly. Really? Who's that? Huh? TV Bay. You know. I got Freeway tomorrow. Yeah, we ain't with none of that. Yeah. Freeway. Oh, freeway. That's a good look. Let's go. Legend. Legend. Freeway's a legend. The beard's in the building. Yeah, Freeway's a legend. You need uh, a Freeway beard. I reached out to. Um, no. Our guy down there told me to come interview with us. Who? Drink Champs. God, Nori man. will. Yeah. Can, let's, can we go on Drink Champs? Yeah. We let's go to that. Miami. We could do that, too. Me and you by the pool? We could do that, too. A little siesta. We could do that, too. No, no pool, nothing. No Diddy shit. No Diddy parties? Now Diddy got a house over there. I can yeah. direct you to it. I would love to be invited. I bet you would. You want to take your wife? Mm. You know he'd be with that. Might you said you home. might want to. He definitely would do the pyramid with you. I don't want her to be dealing with whatever the fuck he's doing. Why not? He's embattled. He's what? He's embattled. What is that? He's at war with the government and various lawsuits. Well, that's what you got Meek Mill there. He can just call the governor. <laughs> okay. If you were a betting man, what do you think that Meek Mill has done gay activities with Puffy? No, nah, I wouldn't put that No, nah. You don't think so? No. Not it's at all. It's kind of hard for me to imagine, too. I'm not imagining shit. I just don't <laughs> think so. Well, I'm having a hard time imagining. I don't fuck with him, but I ain't going to put that on him. Where are you at on this? Oh, man, I ain't got no comment on you, that. You don't like to get involved in the zestiness? Nah. Mm. I don't know what people are doing in their spare time. 
That's a fact, too. Our job here is to expose it, to figure it out. He's a part of the well, exposers. Yeah. I'm a tuna, but no, I'm, you, I'm you, being part if, of it. If, you know. if anything did happen, <laughs> shit coming out, so. But I, I mean, it would no take. Comment, though. And you know what would be fucked up? If Puff just broke down. And just admitted everything? You know what? Fuck <laughs> it. Fuck it. And just start naming names. All right, this is the one question, though, that I want to know. What? What? Do you think that Meek, or no, sorry, not Meek. Do you think that Diddy has had anal sex with a man? I don't think about that. Do you think he has? You don't I have don't to think, think about, about it. With I don't know. You don't think? I don't know. That, well, that to me, is like the, the real thing that I want to learn Do in I all this. I think he has done things that me as a heterosexual man will say is out of bounds and out of line with another man, whatever it may have been. Yes. Okay. But I don't know what that, what those things are. For me, it's like in order to call you gay, I need to believe that you've had sex with a dude. You want you want to see it? I don't want to see it. I just want to know. You just want to know. I just want to hear it. Do I think he's a little zesty? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A I little zesty, it. but maybe not the whole way. But I, I, you know what? What what bothers me though is we got another one of our moguls taking a fall. Mm. A lot of them, OJ, Suge, um, now Puffy. Um, who else we had before that? Somebody else just took a fall. Some crazy it's shit. It's crazy that it didn't come out earlier, that it didn't come out during the whole Me Too thing when everybody else got exposed. Well, Me Too is still going on. Yeah, but it's been almost 10 years. So it's like a very late stage. You would think that it would have leaked out before. It got, you know, it, it has the entertainment business in a motherfucking disarray. Really? How so? It does, because now, like, have you noticed as big as Puff was, as many friends he has, all his parties, everything he threw was packed out. Mm. How many people from the industry you see standing on the side of him? No, none really. Right? They so, were down to stand up for Thug when he got accused of bodies, but they're not standing up for Puff when he gets accused of diddling. Yeah, so it's kind of like, you know, it is like, it's killing the unity. Mm. You know, that was an upper ech echelon of this game. Parties and just people that was associated with them. You know, I used to like to see that. You know what I'm saying? They're getting big parties and just all our people and they doing their thing. You, you know, know what, what I'm it saying? Is, now it's kind of like we don't have nobody to fill that void. It's it's a it's a lesson to the next generation of hip hop moguls and entrepreneurs and shit yeah. that don't go mad with power. You know, yes. don't let yeah. the millions of dollars guide you into having some freaky fucking sexual appetite that can only be fulfilled in these weird, I abusive take ways. I the beach. I take mine with me. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, some of this shit be a hustle. I'm, I'm going to warn you. I'm warning you right now, bro. Like, when it starts to happen <laughs> and the money start to flowing, yeah. right? You put your hands on a motherfucker, you think it was just a fade. Yeah. And then two months later, a motherfucker walk up on you and serve you some paperwork, civil suit, two million. You know what I'm saying? A motherfucker put you in the trick bag just to, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So with these women, I'm with it, I'm with it, I'm with it. They damn near need to create some type of site or app where motherfuckers are going there, take your face, Check box, box, box. I can sit and before they go in there, because a motherfucker go in there, right? And do they thing, willingly do they thing. Fuck around and go to sleep, pass out, wake up, husband or their boyfriend and call them 30 times, right? They ain't answered. They go into panic. Next thing you know, she gets home. Oh my God, I don't know what happened. I think they raped me, right? While you fucking her, while she drunk, she telling you, beat it up. That's all you got? Beat it up. So now when she go to the hospital yeah. to do the rape kit, right, all signs of that is there. But she just scared to tell this dude what she did voluntarily. So you think if you're really beating it up, then the rape kit is going to fall positive? You're going to have pubic hairs there. You're going to show, she going to show she was getting hit, pounded out, all this shit. And, and, and then you got a homie or anybody they got any type of record, they cuffing you. Now, when they cuff you and they say, rapper such and such arrested for rape in this country, ain't no innocent till proven guilty. Right. If that was the case, Puff wouldn't be losing all this fucking endorsements. You, you saw that with Lil Mosey. Lil Mosey got accused of doing something to a girl. Took him like 
three years of basically being like silent while the fucking lawsuit and shit played out and then basically he got exonerated but meanwhile his career lost all its over fucking momentum with. over with he could still maybe bring it back but it's definitely going to be an uphill battle you know nigga take sand to the beach and let your sand bring more sand if that's what it is it should be more like porn where in porn we all sign the contracts and we list off our nose you say what what, what are your nose Exactly. The girl says, I don't want to do anything with my butthole. Don't grab me by my my hair because it's fake. Uh, My jaw's fucked up, so don't like jam your fucking dick down my throat too crazy. Personally, you want to know what's on my no list? Sensitive balls. You're weird. You can lick them, but don't suck them. Don't try to pull them out of my body because I. They're they're, they're, they're sensitive from a BMX incident. Academics, man. What? I'm on here with Adam, your best friend Adam. Put it by the mic. Yo, yo. What? Yo, we're filming the Adam and Wack show. Hey, 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 Wack. I'm just trying to tell you, I paid my extortion do not play. Yo, yo, I'm here. I'm here with Loose. <laughs> oh, you got Loose Cannon with him? Yo. Yo, hey, yo, Adam. What up? Hey, I, I, Miss I him. for Wack. I love Wack. Wack says, yo, this is a great story. I got to do it. And I'm going to be honest with you. Hey, no matter, I told shit about Wack sometimes, but Wack always hold me down, so I got to hold him down. That's fact. Do your research, though, because uh, we're, we've yet to see the footage of this big U uh, phone call. Hey, hey, no, they played some exclusive shit. I got the shit. audio. Oh, okay. No, no, hold on. They played some exclusive shit, but, but, but Adam, trust me, I'm, I'm crossing my T's dot vibes. Trust me. Yo, and, see and, this face right watch here? The interview? Huh? Adam, I watched your interview, so for, for all the follow-up questions... I had to ask because I, I also saw you question a few things. You know, they came with a little bit more information. Um, the jury might still be out. <laughs> yeah, look, 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 look. I can't go on. I, I can't go on for it. You got the Do you know? Do you know? Remember, remember that name. When you, when you need him, reach to me. Please here, man. This is his hey, new hey, Pyro huh? cosign. What? Paul don't need no cosign. <laughs> Rooster business, Act. Wack, you're making a lot of plays over here. I ain't going to lie to you. Uh, Lou spoke very highly of you, you know, and I didn't know, which was you never told me, because I talked to him about the old, old video where he was like, yeah, whack fake, blah, blah. He said, y'all ran a play. Definitely. And I know whack, whack always run a play. Who? Not me. You always be running a play. Your bro. whole Troy life is a play. me today. Yo, whack, you always running a play, bro. Not me. I don't run yo, plays. Yo, whack. Yo. yo. <laughs> All right, yo, 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 get back to Yo, look, let me ask you something. No, act. You got to check out Snoopy one Badass. Question, act. No, no. Check him out. Act, listen. Sorry. Act, listen. What oh, the man. fuck is going on with fucking Meek talking to the governor and telling him you're possibly responsible for murders? <laughs> yo, whack. <laughs> hey. He snitched on me, and I never did nothing. Bro, talk about it. You the OG civilian, bro. Yo, whack, whack. Can we talk about? It? He said he said he spoke to the white governor. The governor. Think about this. Think about this. His family didn't tell him to stop beefing with me. His mama didn't tell him. His girl, his kids didn't tell him. His baby mama didn't tell him. He said the only person who could tell him was the white governor. Who then he explained to the governor. So now, yo, you know I He explained I got, that you possibly are responsible for some bodies. For making YouTube yo, videos. Yeah, yo, yo, whack. Here's the craziest part about it all. You know, I got issued a concealed carry for the state of Pennsylvania, which that's the governor for. I now have to hit up my attorney to go make sure that concealed carry is good there because they might catch me over there with the concealed carry and say they revoked it over what Meek Mill said. I don't know what's going so, on. So Meek Mill is safe to say. He part of government. Hey, no. It, he's a government it, it, contact. He's cooperating, okay? He's a cooperate. Yeah, he's a cooperate. Yeah, I, I ain't even wanted to say it. I ain't even want to say it, Wack. It is what it hey, is. When, when I seen him say he talked to the governor, and he said, I explained to the governor that this man is responsible for murders, I said, did this nigga open up an investigation on me? He definitely did that. That's hey, man, crazy. Listen, man, you got it. This is what this is what Luke Cannon was saying, Big U did. I'm like, why Meek doing it to me? That's what they doing. Him and Meek fuck around too. That's a fact. <laughs> listen, <laughs> nah, I'm done. G I'ma send you his music, bro. Take a listen. We're gonna get to <laughs> All right, it. Yo, All right, love. All right. I, I feel like uh, Me- Meek Mill uh, telling the world that well, he told the shit. governor that Ack is You're responsible. Not supposed like, to do that. Like, what is he thinking? Yeah. That's some really burnt out Yo, shit. Yo, Adam. 
My contracts came, brother. What contracts? With Congo. Oh, Congo diaper. Yeah, stuff. they came. They came. I'm very happy. You want to work in diapers? I'm very happy. I got kids. Well, let me give y'all some babies. Yeah, babies. Oh, let me know what size diapers they wear. But once you get once six. he gets you hooked, uh, six. You're gonna be spending all your fucking money on on incredible diapers. No, Yo, we tied in. Bro, listen, man. He's gonna get you hooked. Uh, you know He'll give crazy? you a sampler. You know what's crazy? Then he's gonna text you. Um, he made a joke and said, "I was watching some old footage, <clears throat> and five years ago, you were talking about these diapers." It wasn't even like a joke. I was just kind of amazed. But when yet I saw we that. pulled up Red Bull, and they've been around since '87. We, we didn't know about them till about 10, 12 years ago, we fifteen this, years ago, yeah. right? And now you're taking over the Congo. Five years in five years, I made it happen. Yeah, it's pretty good. Great. Nigeria's Abby. Adam, what the fuck academics want? <laughs> What's up, bro? Hey, no, no, I just got to confirm. Did, did, did Lemmy offer you half a million to stop fucking with him? I call Cap. Hey, listen, man. Um, Y'all continue that. Relationships are very, very important. Shout out Libby Plumber. Shout out Zeus. What's wrong with these people? He offered you money to stop fucking with Luke no, Cannon? No, 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 no. Lemmy never did that. Lemmy just was a little bothered about... What that? Lemmy was bothered about our interview. And I told him, bro, we didn't know nothing about that situation. See that? That's legendary. Once upon a time, it would have been a fight. Really? Swear to God, you don't even know what you're doing today. All right. All that shit people be talking about you starting shit... Today is about killing shit. I'm in the dark. And I was also in the dark when I did an interview uh, a couple weeks ago, and it came out, and you were very upset about some of the content. There was a rapper slash businessman, weed entrepreneur. Who was that dude? Compa Ritter. Where are you from? He's from, I don't know exactly, but... Was that Fernando? He was talking shit about you. You let him diss my neighborhood. And I didn't know. Doing. He said, Wag I don't 100. even know the motherfucker. He said, Wag 100 is as soft as a. Yeah, but this is my thing. He used a different term. But, I didn't know. But this is my Do thing. Do you believe me that I didn't know? I believe that you brought my name up. Because you remember like a week before. Did you not bring I my asked name up? You, I go, when they diss Pyrus, what do they say? And you were like, nothing. There's no, no such thing. So I really didn't yeah. know what the fuck he was trying to do. So there. my question to you is. He don't know me to bring my name up. He has talked about you online before. That's why I asked him about you. But see, now that's weird. Now who's soft? A motherfucker talking about a motherfucker they don't know? <laughs> right? Is that who? Like I, like, I don't, I literally don't know this dude. Don't you talk about tons of people you don't know on no. the internet? Anybody I have a discussion about, I know who the fuck they are. We out here talking about Diddy. I know Diddy. Fuck you mean. But what would be the difference if you didn't? Huh? Like if you had never met Diddy, you'd well, still be able to have an objective conversation no, about his behavior about, and what's going on with him, right? What we're talking about is in, in the blogs. Uh -huh. He wasn't talking about nothing in the blogs. What was he talking about? Apparently, it, 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 it comes off that his hood does not get along with your hood. Okay, well, he from... Over something that happened many years ago. No, we ain't never got along. Where he from? Sound face, San Fernando? Mm. My city don't get along with his city. Right. Period. Point blank. But he know I don't know him. So he clout chasing. So if a dude from San Francisco need a dude from Pacoima to get on, then so be it. We always been the bigger moving anyway. But then he also was saying that you disrespected Money Sign Suede after he died. Who? Money Sign Suede. Who the fuck is that? He was a popular Hispanic artist. I don't know that dude. But did you disrespect him? You said he I don't I don't know him. You know what probably they taking this disrespect? You not knowing him? Motherfucker, come to Clubhouse. Who is that dude? I don't know him. I don't know him. I don't know him. Don't fucking get mad at me because I don't know him, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Is this a dude that was in jail, got killed in jail? Yeah. Um, did he have some allegations against him? Not that I know of, no. Then why did they say they killed him in jail? Huh? Yeah. What he was doing, like hanging with the blacks? They were saying he just, he wasn't... Yeah, yeah, so it's not for me to I don't know. I know all I know. I remember them bringing the dude up. Mm -hmm. I didn't know him, and I, I remember them asking me about a situation, and I answered it like you. I'm like, well, if you ain't going, you know, handling your business, 
with that movement. He was a south sider, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Things got messy. I don't know. Or was he ran with him? Okay, so yeah, so somebody might have asked me some shit, but I don't know, dude. I can't. What's the dude's name you just said? Swade. Yeah, I don't know this dude. But people come ask me questions. Yo, whack, you know, what happens? And I'll say what happens. Then they take it personal. Mm -hmm. I don't know the dude. I don't know. He was a rapper. Yes. I don't know his music. I don't know nothing about it. I don't know what body mm -hmm. was from, nothing. But nevertheless, you from San Fernando. Mm -hmm. I believe dudes from like uh, a neighborhood in like, is he Hawthorne or LA or some shit? I'm trying to remember. I don't know. What, whatever the case may be, whatever. Close it, close it, yeah, close, close, close it. Up. Yeah, what, what, whatever the case may be, I didn't know him. That's not an excuse for whoever this dude is. But if you were something, you need to mention the guy from Bacoima to get some clout, so be it. Right. You know, um, growing up, our cities beefed. The essays from Bacoima don't get along with San Fernando. So, that, you know, that's just what that was. But what, what he did that was tricky was that he just, he was just dissing you, but then he used the gang diss expression. He tried to sneakily snuck it in there. He knew what he was doing. You know. And you're not feeling it. What big white horn? I don't even know the dude, but you know, shout out to the dude. I don't know if you need to um, use my name for some clout, and you my enemy go, so be it. That makes you my son. Mm. So you know, I don't know. What yeah. does he do? What does that dude do anyway? He's got a weed brand called Trash Bag Boys. Oh, I was gonna troll you and wear the shirt. Yeah. Fuck, I forgot. Um, but I wouldn't have known what the fuck it was. I know. That's why it would have been classic. It would have been incredible. Um, I don't know. I think I uh, honestly, I'm kind of looking at the topics. Oh, Big Meech is going to come back. I see that. Um, is that exciting for for us on a street level, or is that are you kind of what? Well, you know, there's been a lot of allegations. You know what I'm saying? They they accuse him of telling a lot of allegations. Oh, a lot of allegations. Um, it's one dude doing like 25 years. I talked to him on the phone. Been a lot of allegations. Uh huh. Close the door. It's a fucking okay. party out there, huh? So it's been a, yeah, the functions out there. It's been a lot of allegations. Um, Blue Da Vinci home. So you know he knows the most about this shit. But you know, um, I heard his brother is already in some trouble. His brother, uh, Southwest T. So you know, hopefully he comes yeah. home. And I think the only play I see him doing is maybe a movie. Fifty Cent and already did to. The, the the series. Uh huh. So maybe come on do a movie. You know, I just hope he don't come home and think he's slicker than he was last time. You think he's gonna get back into the that? Should have never worked. <laughs> that seems like a terrible idea. It, it'll never work. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what he's gonna do. One thing we can't take away from him: he's a hustler, and uh, he's been gone what about 20 years. He left in 05. Uh huh. We on like 19, 20. So I'm pretty sure he got a plan. Right. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it may be. You know, I can see him going to do a movie that might work for him. I don't know. You know what I mean? Clothesline merch, some shit like that. You know, BMF is, I've been seeing people trying to get that merch thing going, but he's actually, he's ultimately the face of it. Who owns it? Like the brand name? Um, BMF, Blue Da Vinci, the original logo. He owns that. Okay. Um... But when it come down to the politics, you know, with him being on the streets, you know, I'm pretty sure they'll work it out. However, they gonna work it out. Right. What else is on your mind? What else we got going on? Uh, Black and Gino. Bumping Gino. We see that? We're trying to He's see what's going on. So you made it a meme. I didn't make it a nah, meme. Nah, ain't no motherfucking meme. Explosive. It's real life. Where's your, where's your mixtape at? What you mean? It's Spotify. Everywhere. Spotify, YouTube, you, 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 you didn't finish telling us the features. Yeah, because I was cut off. I was really interrupted <laughs> by Adam 22, man. The, you know the 22 what, star. You know what we really need for you? We need a better graphic designer. Come on, man. This font is not doing it for man, me. Man, look, man. You sound like a hater again. I'm just being real with you. You come with this hating shit, bro. That ain't just, right. I'm just, you know, I got a lot of feedback for you. Yeah. Why are we doing shit with two T's? Because he's from Treetop R. Uh, you kind of slow, huh? Well, I'm just not a gangbanger. More of See, a going more on. of a font critic. Oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah. Ah, damn, you got criticized fonts. It's kind of like my whole thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I got eight, a feature nine. on there though with the homegirl Yardow Mimi. 
I don't know her. Two. Yard down, Mimi. Yeah. Um, it's called outside. Wait, 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 wait. Her dude from Fruit Town Brill. Yeah. Gotcha. Little stretch. Little stretch. You know yeah. I just had on here from Fruit Town Pyro. No, no Fruit, Town Fruit Town, Town Brill. No, but you know I just had was Young Rich Moolah. From Fruit Town Pyro. I, I, I haven't met him. Yeah. I don't, I don't know who that is. You don't know him. Uh, Young legend. So where the hell is your features? See this? Yeah. Whatever song your features are, it should say that. Yeah, if there are features, they're not listed on the songs. We just so we gonna talk. Kind of confusing. Yeah, we gotta talk, man. We gonna tighten it up. Get your shit tightened up. Um, <laughs> yeah, shout out to Lil Stretch. He the one that gave me the information on um on the dude Deuce Sims. I feel like you two could do something viral together. And his with, brother Booker Brown with the bald PC head. S and Y. The Ooh. bald head thing. Like I feel like you two could do some you, sort of bro, like viral. You bald, your shit gone too. You know what he finna go do, right? Yeah, get his shit lasered on. Yeah, there. he going yeah. back. The, you cheating? I'm going Overwatch. going yeah. back back to Turkey, 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 Turkey. Your shit is gone up top, bro. It's not looking too good, right? It's, little... it's gone. Your shit out of here. That shit blew out, bro. You want to blow that If, you, if you let that shit grow out, what's it going to look like? Where's <laughs> the hairline going to uh, be egg at? Right right here? Nah, back, egg in the nest. Right here. Egg in the half? Egg in the nest. I would kill yeah. to see you with the George Costanza. <laughs> All I got to do is tattoo a red, a burgundy flag. That's what right I told here. you last episode. Right up top. Yes. That shit is going to A big red star on the head. You'll be so much more viral. But I'm selling diapers. Yeah, but... You could do that. Same with the diapers. Incredible you, you diapers. You can gangbang and sell diapers. Incredible diapers. Incredible Who's going to stop you? You know what's crazy? First of all, I'm not a gangbanger. I'm a pyro for life. You could be a pyro for life and you can sell diapers, up, right? Hunting the crib, nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying? Don't get it fucked up. My original name is CK Wack. It was only two of us. <laughs> I've reminded you of that many times. And one from NHP. <laughs> it was only two of us. We both didn't took squabbles very, for each other, mistaken identity. I, I like the So the I nickname. did mine how I had to do mine. I got crip partners, people I do business with both sides. I'm a power for life. I'm going to die that. And yep. then still be that. We know. The ghost of P-Funk going to be with me. Right. That part. You know what I'm saying? So, but on the flip side, Adam, you know, I find it. Real sad that you can't say, you know what, whack? Coming from where you come from, the shit you've been through, prison early, in the music game, you still had the mind to create something. Now, you don't hear anybody say they own my shit. I own 100% of my shit. So you want a pat on the no, back I for don't wanna, waking I don't wanna, up and doing your I job? I don't want to no, no. What I'm saying is you quick to want to address all negativity when it comes to my people. I'm trying to make good but content. But you never, ever, ever want to say, you know what? That's not true. That. We talk about things that we are in favor of in the hip hop slash black community all the time. That's what I was trying to tell you my first time here. Like, man, you got I, I just don't see like it's why, negative. Why, why do you deserve a pat on the back for like I don't want making a, a product and selling it? It's like whatever, that's what everybody's doing. No, I created a product. Coming from well, it's a we product that already existed. No, but I created my shit. I own my shit. Right, but I mean, diapers already exist. I'm not white labeling. You didn't split the atom. I didn't what? It's not like you did something that's never been done before. You're just mm. selling a commodity I'm the only black owned that diaper. other people are already I'm the only selling. Black right? owned diaper company. And in the honestly, United States. I think it's dope. I'm the only black owned diaper company in the United States of America. What, what do I? I don't care about that. I know you don't. Right. Because you're white and you've been privileged. Well, I'm not a racist. And niggas is you've been on privileged. You. No, I think Karen is been on privileged. You, Adam. Being niggas concerned on with what the race is of who's selling a particular happy, product, not really you my You should thing. be happy at being the only white independent podcast that's in the urban space. Not true. Vlad TV. Nah. Bootleg Kev. Plenty he of He just came. And I don't care. Bootleg ain't white. Yes, he is. I don't think so. No, I thought he was I, Mexican too. I hear some Latin in it. No, no. It, we went viral because he was like telling me that he was white, and I didn't believe him. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know he was white. It was a really funny clip. You know, what Bullet Kev is though cool. He's cool. Cool as fuck. Yeah, and he's got a pizza place now. What does he? Yeah, it's called What Up Doe. Where is that? Get it, Doe. Where is it at? It's in Burbank. In Burbank. I can take you there. Check this out. Those of y'all Google. What up, Doe? <laughs> My homie Bootleg Kev's uh, pizza joint. Pull up. Maybe go to Bootleg Kev's Instagram because no, I don't listen, know if you're going to be listen, able to man. Google it yet. Pull up. Tell Bootleg Kev, Kev, whack 100 sent you. The first people get there, the first $500 of pizza. I don't think it's open. Hold yet. on, man. It's on me. If you go there if right now, open, you might be let down. Pull up. 
Say whack one hundred sent me. They gonna keep a tally. The first five hundred dollars you, know you get at? the free pizza. You ever been? To, I don't know. You said it's on Burbank. You ever been to Porto's nah. Bakery? Fuck Burbank. Nah. It's like super famous. No nah, hell no. Nah. It's like across Police the street. Police over there. They don't like Negroes. In Burbank. Police over there. They don't like Negroes. No, that's uh, what is it? What's it? Bootleg calf shit. Bootleg calf. Is the uh, what? Those. What up? What up, doe? He talking about that shit. Good looking up. Talking about a pizza spot. It's in Burbank. You been there? He talking about Portos. Porto. I'm saying different Portos shit. is across the street. Fuck Portos. We talking about what up, doe? Bullet Cat Pizza Spot. You been there? No, where is it? It's not I'm open. It's in Burbank. <laughs> no one's been there. It's not open. It's not open. No. Okay, we're well, working on it. Stay tuned. It used to be Kev. a pizza place called 800 Degrees, though. Still thugging the mixtape. Really is out. I remember 800 Degrees. We can go and right. download, stream, and all Same that. Same right place. Now. Across well, I think there's multiple locations for 800 degrees, gotcha. but it, it was across YouTube. the street. Is he in the, side, um, Apple. Food One mic. Is he in that the the little shopping area over there where everybody walks? Yeah, I can't remember that the part. name of the street, but it's like an intersection. Oh, we shit, we ain't Burbank and don't know Burbank. Yeah, white folks. I was trying to avoid saying where we are, but thank you. Why you scared? Everybody know where the fuck you at? Well, we try not to say. You're you're kind of a lone wolf and trying to expose it constantly. I mean, I don't give a fuck. Dickhead. Yeah, that is the point. You scared? I'm not scared, Take but... Take your punk ass to church. Try to be discreet. <laughs> you, But you... Motherfucker, you done had a million guests. And yet, we still try to be somewhat discreet. Well, they pulled up on Brick Baby. He was scared to come outside, so shit. That's not true. They what? You're I heard him talking to you. You're confusing the situation. They said, you said, I'll ask him. You're weaponizing the situation. So when you asked Brick, what did he say? No, he was saying he was going to He was about Brick. to go on stream. No, nigga, they was in there together. That's like a nigga said, I'm going to ask Whack, and, and he's sitting here. Whack, what do we want you to let him in? <laughs> or they outside? Nobody called and said they wanted to fight him. They said they wanted. said that? They said they wanted to do a live stream together. And my response was, nobody gets to just show up and do a live stream. That's Nobody not how this said works. they wanted to fight him. If you want to request doing content, you're free to do that from your own home. But don't come here and request to do content. You will be told to leave. Mm, okay. We don't do anything impromptu here. Anybody pulling up is going to be running into a brick wall. Because mm. that's not how this works. Um, anyway, I got to go to the Mountain Goats concert. I suggest Fucking people listen goats. to, there's a song, This Year. That I'm a very big fan of. This year. This year. This year is a good one. This year is a banger. Also, I would like to suggest the song Heretic Pride. And there's also a song, the best ever death metal band out of Denton. Yo, man. The, <laughs> one thing I can say, they got some numbers. Something like that. They've been what? around for like 30 years. They put out like 30 albums. It was, it's just one dude. Oh, it's, no, it's look like it's four dudes. Yeah, but they're just like the band that he picked up at some point. But it started with so just one dude. So is it the dude? Is he the main dude right here? No, it's the guy with the mustache in the middle. Really good. I'm going to see all these hipster people that I, I fucking go hate. I'm going to be around all these weird people. Ugh, I'm already dreading it. Motherfucker, you weird. Dude, I went to the fucking parent-teacher like dinner the other day. For who? Your daughter? No, it's like all the parents from the school get together and go to like a, what a dinner. What grade is your daughter in? Why? Tell me why I saw Jermaine Dupree. Is your daughter's going to one of those schools? Okay, I'm not talking about my daughter. The parents from the school all go out to eat together. Well, what school? At my night. I'm not telling you the fucking school. But it's your daughter's school, right? What other school would it be? I don't know. I didn't know your daughter was in school. How old is she? She's three. You're making like telling the story very difficult. Um, okay. okay. The school. The parents go out to eat. They go out to get dinner so they can get to know each other. Mm -hmm. I saw Jermaine Dupree. Real tall guy, isn't he? No, that's not what I was thinking at all. <laughs> Shout out, JD. But, a legend. Straight legend. I also felt like my cover was somewhat blown during this because the fucking waiters are trying to take photos of me and stuff. And then one of the dads starts asking me all about Crip Mac. Everybody at the table is kind of like, what are they? They're asking them about a Crip, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, oh they no. go discover you be fucking on camera. They go see you and your wife, asshole naked. And hanging out with the roosters. Yo, did JD know who you was? I didn't even say anything to him. He didn't say nothing to you either. He follows me on Instagram, but I didn't make eye contact with him. Hey, yo, man, listen, check this out. Him. I was going to talk to this him. This Adam and Wax show, we, you always got to say some weird shit. Eye contact. Come you're you're going to act like that's up. gay? It's like the most yeah, basic listen. form of human communication. Yo, listen, man, we here with G Uno. Fuck the G Uno. There you go. All right. Y'all, uh, yeah. follow G Uno, Instagram, Spotify. 
All that good shit, man. You you know, we've been giving right you now. the layup. So you got to go hard with the music because you've yeah. appeared on this platform twice in the uh-huh. same year. Yeah, and I've been doing my shit ever since. You uh, got to go up. I stay going up. I do it up. Mr. Time. 100 ENT here might be able to help you, but. That's part where I got an obligation. Okay. It's dudes and deaths of those before me. I must remain a stronger soldier for the ones that follow. The mission is to move forward to get there means not to know how far to go. What's this, like a Bible verse? That's Paul Row. Oh. That's real shit. That's what it is. Okay. I'm talking about? It's from the book of Cash Jones. No, hey, that's hey, but you can, Rowe. You can finish telling him, though. Tell him what? Buy the gene on, though. I'm in this bitch. You feel me? You can go check me out on Instagram, all my freestyles and all that. You feel me? You can go check me out on my YouTube channel. At Bonte G Uno one, you feel me? And shout out to my boy G Face because G Face kind of well, put Adam. you in the game, right? Why you keep cutting Adam, me off? If what? you wear your freestyle, <laughs> go crazy. Where the beat at? You don't need one. Ain't no make beat. it even easier. Where the beat at? Hip hop. No it beat. Even easier. No beat. Nah, we need the beat. Not make sure. it even no easier. Beat. No beat. You, it's harder with the beat. Nah, we need the beat. You ain't. Nah, you can't tell us no. I ain't you are a rapper. Oh Where the man. Put that shit up. Nigga. It's like ducking the face. Give us a penitentiary no, beat. Duck no face. Give us a penitentiary <laughs> beat. Give us the penitentiary beat. Damn. Give you us know, the penitentiary beat. Uh, uh, there we go. Now let me get a beat. Oh, don't get don't get don't get shy on us now. No, nah, she coming with How much right money now. you get? No, we can't do it. We can't like play a beat. We're gonna have to cut it out. Nah, because the cut it out. Yeah. We don't know who's it is. Ah, uh, well then go to my Instagram. They might book us. me. Nah. That's not probably what they're looking for, but you better hey, be ready next been, time. Y'all been doing better be ready next Melrose. time. Yep. Let me. Uh, we can go on Melrose right now. The booth now. is there. Yeah, the booth is there. Line it up. up. Line that shit up. Just line it Come up. On, that's that ain't nothing. That's done. You know he said line it up. He with that. He they, with they ain't using the booth enough. He wants you in there. Yeah, they ain't really. I only seen two performances. Yeah, you, if I was you, four. if I was you, I'd be in that motherfucker every day. It'll be the, the Bop and G Uno booth. Just hang out I'll show up every day and do a song every day <laughs> and make motherfuckers say, fuck that. Yeah. This nigga ain't fit to be the only one. Yeah. What is it going to take you? 10 minutes of your time? Man, I'll pull up every day and be in that booth. The one on Melrose. Straight up and get out. And hey, we over there. Because you record it, right? About you got to schedule that it, though, if you want to do the actual like, See, performance look. thing. He come what with you mean? What, what, I'm what, telling you how it works. You think there's just a camera crew there every day, all day? No, you got to schedule it. Who's running the schedule? Josh. Josh, okay, that ain't nothing. Yeah. That's okay. Enough. Well, we did it. We did it. We did another episode. This is 31. 31, yeah, we rocking and rolling. We're coming uh, up we on 30. We got to get Ray J in here when he get back from Miami. I love that idea. He coming. We should shoot the episode on set surrounded by trans women. Oh, my God. <laughs> he might bring them. He got a whole show. If they Shit. sit on my lap. Transgender lab. came out. You know, the alphabets be getting into it with each other. They're not going to do me like last the time. LGD, if they sit like on my the lap. Trans, ah, right? ah, 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 ah. Gay nigga rush to transgender. Paul Root, transgender, get up. Stumble left, right. Come out the bro. 40 with the 17. Get out. <laughs> da, 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 da. Dump the whole parking lot out. Yeah. Swear to God, we got all that content. This shit finna be crazy. <laughs> they shot the parking lot out? What? The, what nigga, listen. That and you're just gonna put it in the documentary? You motherfucking right. You're worse than Meek Mill. No. Um, you, can't, you can't see who it is. Oh. Didn't you just say? You can't see who it is. I don't know. I don't think you should be bringing Bob DeGene or a trans woman. I'm you not the one said this doesn't seem you like it. the one, not his style. Wait, listen. I told him about a scene that happened. What scene? You the one that's in this reality show. I don't think you should do a scene either. No, it's already done. Weird. Oh, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you trying to bring the homie into something? We talking about some dumb shit. You said I have Ray I'm, J trying, bring I'm that. telling you not to put him in some gay shit, and then you keep making it gayer. Why the fuck did you even put him in this conversation? You the one let the star of the fucking shit sit on your lap. Did you not let him Mr. sit on your lap? Mr. Jones and me. He let the transgender sit on his lap. I, I, shit, I warm that. as fuck. You said something about the juice and some shit from his Swamp butt? Swamp ass. <laughs> her butt. The juice from his butt. I'm the like, feeling of her dick on my leg was oh freaking me out. Oh, my God. Yo. That was not very bombed into you know. Okay. <laughs> I nah, nah, we ain't yeah. rocking like that. Yo, we kept it very un. About? We kept it there's unbombed no, bro, with that there's one. There's no her. It's a he. Her dick. Nah, I guess. Yeah. No. Nah. Okay. I don't conform. Take to that you type and shit. your transphobic Jamba Juice cup and get the hell out of here. We out. We out. Bow.